Come back to town, do another mod on the 6.4 GNC, the Mishimoto upper support bar. Gonna place the factory one. You can see, no one's really wrong with it, but yeah, I did this pipe and I did some crappy cutting. And plus, you know, it's stronger than the factory one. You hear that? Yeah. We need, well, first thing we need to do is take these clamps off right here and on the bottom. Get, get those off real quick okay so i'll try taking this clamp off it's not moving but in reality you take the bolts out which are 10 millimeter and you scoot it back far enough to the gap and take this next cooler off more 10 millimeters and also the uh the lid horn is also 10 millimeter so get all these bolts out got to mention the uh hood latch is also 10 millimeter take these deals you get some uh tool to pull these up but otherwise I just grab them pull them out and get this piece pull it over slide it out we'll unbolt the uh, hood lock here and these deals on this side will pull these out as well we got to mention these bolts that hold this bracket on here are 10 millimeter you will need a universal socket and to be safe take the negative terminals off their eight millimeter both sides and uh you know just put all your old bolts up here because the support bar provides a new one and that'll be a good time if you want to do the bigger pipe right here let me show you the difference in these see solid structure of the Mishimoto right here very solid structure see this not bending this one's as you can see it, it's flexing just under my weight. This one, not even budging. So we'll go ahead and put this piece in. Oh, and on this bracket, if you have one like mine, I've seen a couple don't. If you have this hood deal, you want to put this bracket on instead of the new one. Because it won't, you see it's attached to this bracket. So, let's sign up. Good, now still need to transfer from the old support bar to the new one. It's this little... A rubber grommet for the horn. Just take it out, slide in right there. And these bolts that hold the horn and the cooler right here, they're 12 millimeter. These are still 10 millimeter, and these are still 10 millimeter. And you just reuse the 13 millimeter bolts to hold all this stuff in. And also, you get new bolts for the inner cooler, and these are also 12 millimeter. All right, got it all completed. Said so, again, 13 millimeter, 12, 10, 12, 12, 10. Next thing we need to do is adjust these, make sure the hood closes good, and also might need to adjust the hood latch a little bit. But we'll go ahead and test this out and see. Looks like closed up just right. Yep, looks like everything's aligned, right? All right, so everything works like it should, latches okay. So, anyways, this and this, of course that too will be changed later. But otherwise, it looks a whole lot better than the factory one. For sure, and uh, as it feels way more sturdy than factory, also. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful in some way. Um, if y'all like the video, subscribe and leave a thumbs up. If not, all good to me. Hope y'all have a good day.